Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about the seeds that I chose for the garden this year and why I chose them. The number one thing I want to recommend is for you to look for the particular varieties that grow best in your area. For me in Central Florida, what I did was look at the um, Ag Extension Office website. For almost every crop that you grow, they have a recommended variety. The ones they recommend are usually resistant to um, our local pests, our local diseases, and also grow best in our particular environment. Like for me in Central Florida, I'm in zone 9B or 10A, um, and it's very humid a lot of the times. Our summer is like scorching hot, uh, so a lot of them are heat tolerant varieties. A lot of them are um, resistant to funguses that grow that can spread like crazy in our humid environment. I didn't really do a good job last year at looking at their references and using those varieties, so I wanted to be much better this year. So I bought what I'll call a year supply um, of several crops, things that I want to try and things I've already done. So I've got like arugula, bush beans, pole beans, um, and another thing I want to mention is my tip number two for picking out seeds. You should also consider whether you want heirloom seeds or open pollinated seeds or hybrid seeds. Heirloom seeds have been selected for generations mostly because they're either a high producing crop or a great flavor crop or they do really well in certain conditions. So heirloom seeds are also open pollinated. Open pollinated seeds come from a plant that was bred from two similar parents. So a cucumber and a cucumber makes a cucumber plant. But if you were to mix a cucumber with like a tomato or something else and create this other crop, that would be called a hybrid. Hybrids, although sometimes they have unique flavors and stuff like that, um, I really wasn't looking to buy a lot of hybrid seeds because it's like a one cycle plant. You're not gonna be able to save that seed and expect to grow the same plant with similar yielding and similar resistive properties the next year. Hybrids are seeds that you have to buy every year if you continually wanna grow that plant. So my overall goal for seeds is buy as many varieties that number one, match the recommended varieties for my area from the Ag Extension office. And number two, wherever possible, choose heirloom or open pollinated varieties so that I can keep saving seeds, reduce how many seeds I have to buy next year, and keep figuring out how to grow the same crop, getting better and better at growing that crop. For the particular crops I bought, I've got bush beans, it's a Blue Lake 274, I bought most of my seeds from Botanical Interests, um, and I got some from Johnny's Seeds and some from Baker's Seeds. Those are just the areas where I found it was really easy to find those varieties that I was looking for, and I've had really good luck in the past with Botanical Interest Seeds, so I'm going to keep going back to them. Um, I've got Early Wonder Beets, Chiagia Beets, Bok Choy, Broccoli, now this season I grew a broccoli, but it was not the recommended variety and it actually did really well, but anyway, I switched to a Waltham 29 variety and um, whenever it comes fall again, I'll grow that and see how it performs. Um, Brussels sprouts, Copenhagen market cabbage. Last year I grew cucumbers, slicing cucumbers, slicing cucumbers. This year I wanted to try to grow both a slicing one and a pickling one because I want to figure out how to pickle cucumbers, but I also just, why not? We eat pickles and we eat cucumbers, so I'm going to grow both. Next I've got eggplant. They recommend the Black Beauty variety. Talk about jalapenos. I've been wanting to grow jalapenos and I buy them from the store and I mean they're full of seeds, right? But um, just through some research I've done online, I can't confirm, but I suspect a lot of the grocery store varieties are actually hybrids. So I didn't want to just save seeds from my grocery store jalapeno and plant that. I wanted to pick up this Early Wonder jalapeno, which is recommended for my area, and also an heirloom um, seed so I can 
grow the plant. A lot of times pepper plants will last through the seasons in the heat of the summer if I can cover it in a shade cloth and keep it alive. It should produce for years actually. So take care of your pepper plants and be careful about which ones you buy. I got several different varieties of kale. My family, like, it's just so easy to incorporate greens and I wanted to just grow a variety so that we can get used to having lots of greens on our plates, figure out how, to, how best to cook them, whether it be sauteing or put it in soup or eat a salad. And we've got some onions um, and parsnips and sugar snap peas, bell peppers. Here is an example of one. I'll walk over and show you um, my dinky little bell pepper plant. So the this is, bell peppers are one of the things that really got me thinking about the quality of the seeds. Right now I'm growing, I'm about to pull it out of the ground because I'm not happy with it. Right now I'm growing some sort of pepper. I guess it's a bell pepper, but they're little. Um, and I got those seeds just from a friend. I think she had probably got her seeds at the local big box store, like Lowe's or something. So they're probably fairy morse seeds, um, or maybe burpee seeds. And, and a lot of times when I go to Lowe's and I look at the fairy morse seeds, they're not heirloom. And so I just think that she probably had a hybrid plant saved the seeds, gave them to me. I planted them and now my plant is like pitiful, awful yields. It's like the growth is so stunted. It's not doing very well at all. Um, so think about that. The next time you take seeds from a friend, make sure you actually want to take, make sure you actually want that plant in your garden. Um, Cause I, I did it and I'm second guessing it. I don't think I should have done it. I mean, it didn't hurt anything. It's just, I think I would have been smarter to choose a variety that was local to my area and one that was um, an heirloom seed so I could keep producing over and over. This is the pepper plant I was talking about where it's been growing for nine months and this is how big it is. I've got two peppers, but they look like pretty awful, really small, even though they look like bell peppers. So I think they're hybrids. I think I'm going to pull this plant and try again with a um, California Wonder bell pepper. I also picked up quite a few herbs. So I really like growing herbs. I think it's really fun to have something that you can just cut and come again to in the garden and it adds so much flavor in your food. And so I'm just kind of experimenting with them. I got two different types of basil, Thai basil, Italian Genovese basil, some chives, cilantro, dill. I bought a whorehound, actually. Whorehound has been used for generations as like a cough remedy. I think you pick the seeds and you make a tea and you drink it and it really soothes your cough. But some people say the taste is so awful, it's like a licorice. Anyway, I wanna, I wanna try to grow it and maybe dabble in some medicinal herb growing and, and see what that's like. Also, I will say herbs can take a long time to germinate and it might be frustrating. It's been frustrating for me in the past. So um, I think it's a good opportunity to try seed starting um, on like a larger scale. I've only ever done seed starting like on a small scale. Most of the stuff that I do in the garden is just direct sow with seeds. So herbs I think are a good opportunity for that. And flowers too. So my top two tips for uh, choosing seeds for your garden is number one, pick varieties that your Ag Extension office recommends for your area. Number two, consider whether or not you want heirloom seeds or open pollinated seeds that you can save from a plant and plant again next year. If the answer is yes, seek out those heirloom and open pollinated seeds and you can do that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.